It's time for your weekly roundup of the biggest unseen stories, along with the biggest laughs in Big Brother Confidential. Last week, Big Brother created a peaceful retreat called The Temple. Oh, my gosh. Estelle and Layla were lucky enough to get to spend some one-on-one time in there to try and find the positives in their fellow housemates. Michael is a born leader. He's perceptive. Yeah. Well, for me, anyway, just personally, he's taken on sort of a brother role. There's some times where I've not wanted to say things or I've wanted to not be be in control of the situation and he's sort of gone, Layla, you can't say it, I'm going to say it for you, which is a great thing. Like, He can be the voice of reason. He's very passionate. Yeah, passionate. Yeah, he'll generally, if he believes in something, he'll push it. He doesn't care what anyone else thinks. Yeah. I'm going to say that Ben has a lot to give to the group Mm -hmm. because he is very experienced. He's been through a lot Mm -hmm. and he knows how to bring people up when they're down. Yes, I think Ben is very entertaining and can have some very wise words. Yeah, wise words. the right time. Yeah. Who's next? Sam. Sam. Oh, Oh, Sam. Sam. Sam's a great guy because he looks at it from not just a guy's perspective, he Mm -hmm. does look at it from a girl's. Yes, he does. Which is a very good thing to have for a guy. Something you can't teach, generally. Yeah, exactly. So what if he's compliments Sam? So what if that's how he rolls? It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. He's definitely made people in this house feel good Mm -hmm. when they feel bad. Um, And then Zoe. Zoe. Ah, Mother Zoe, Mother Hen. She's noble. She's honest and upfront. Sometimes a little too upfront. But I'd rather honesty than lies. Mm -hmm. Her parents have brought her up to be an awesome girl. Yeah. You feel like, yeah, you can ask her anything Anything. and she will tell you honestly. Honestly, yes. TMI or not, you get the whole package. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. Relationships move fast in the Big Brother house. But who would have thought Sam and Layla would turn into an old married couple so quickly? What's this? My belt. What's it doing on the floor? Oh, sorry. Put it in the box. Shut up! It's bedtime. You're boring me. Hey. So... Come here. Uh uh-uh. uh. Stop telling her what to do. Why? Because she'll just get. She just needs to do what she wants for a bit. Oh, are you, do- are you the dog whisperer? Look, I give a, I let her do what she wants. Delilah, get her. off. No. Off. No, you can't say off when I'm stroking her. Well, stop stroking her. Why? Because it's bedtime and she's this is clearly a one- where we sleep. This is a one-off. Okay. I feel like a venus. Okay, good night. Mwah. Yay! <laughs> We're the best. Girls rule. Girl power. Delilah. Come no. here. Come. No. Come. Sit. Sit. Why did you, why did you just make her Sit. go to, uh, to your end of the bed? Sit down. Good girl. Why? Why are you doing it? No reason. Why are you trying to be the, the owner? I am the owner. No, you're not. Is this lamp on? Good evening, Australia. I'm Michael. Uh, I'm the leader of the Getting Comfy Party. Uh. And you'll be pleasantly surprised to learn that the Getting Comfy Party is all about getting comfy. And that's something that I feel like I'm an expert in. (laughs) Walking around in undies is seen as a fashion faux pas. What's the deal with that? We're just trying to get comfy. And when it comes to this house, I want to talk about a few issues. The influx of lavender in this house will not... Under my watch, Australia, there will be a full trade ban on lavender. There will be a holy war on tofu and lentils. And as Big Brother's only ginger ninja, I feel like it is the right time for Australia to have the second redhead in politics. In summary, please vote for me. It's a pity vote, and I'm okay with pity votes. Good evening. I am Princess Layla. 
and I am the leader of the Funal Alayla political party. My role is to keep everything light-hearted, uh, to not have too much conflict in here. You're telling me what I've done, but I know what I've done. And never have any serious conversations. I will bring to you shits and giggles. <laughs> Above all else, you will ruffle toffle your heads off. <laughs> I will provide you all with free manicures and pedicures. <laughs> and beautiful oats for breakfast every day. Yeah. Yeah. And you all receive a free car. Just want to say thank you so much for listening to me you little cutie patooties so please vote for me everybody and i love you big brother has had a long history with intruders and while most of them were sent packing early A select few managed to become serious contenders. Vesna! <laughs> but all have failed to take the title. It's time to go. Ava! Can intruder Sam make Big Brother history and be the first to go all the way? So, Sam, an intruder has never won Australian Big Brother. Yeah, you think it's possible for an intruder to win? Quite possibly. How do you think the other housemates feel about you still being here? I don't, they might feel surprised. Yeah, they might be a little, a little bit upset. Nobody likes the intruder still being here, which is why they tried to vote me out. I reckon Sam could have really endeared himself to people. Uh. Do you see my way of seeing how you, I think that Sam's, Sam will win? He's just a very nice person. Do you reckon he's he's coming in here to like just like outdo us all? I don't know. I feel like I always oh, yeah, have to yeah. try and prove myself, mm -hmm. and I hate that. You know, just like they said, they say all the time, you know, even another intruder came in, they'd tell him to get out. But lucky for me, I came in at a good time. It's all about timing. You're exactly right. He always compliments people, and I find it really awkward. Yeah, I know. How can you throw on a dress? It just looks so good. It looks amazing, man. You, know, you look hot in that red jumper. You look hot. Oh, she's bro. Compliments and compliments everything. <laughs> Maybe to them, being nice all the time and, and cleaning might be a safe way of getting on people's good side. They might think it's just a front when that is just the way I am. My mother raised me well. But some might say Sam has a leg up in the competition as the only remaining housemate who was able to see the show before entering the house. Coming in as an intruder, I, I had the advantage. Yeah. But I didn't use it. I reckon to you know more extent. than you've let on. You know and more it makes than me wonder if that's why you hooked up with Layla as well. Mm. I'm freaking out now. I have major trust issues. I'm honest when I say I haven't seen anything. Um, so for Zoe and Stacey to sit there and say, Sam, you have come in here, hooked up with Layla because she's popular on the outside. How do they know that she's popular on the outside? What Zoe and that said yeah. was completely false. And that's, it upset me because it's not the case at all. I legitimately like Layla for Layla. You know, like we could have a relationship on the outside that skyrockets. Yeah. You know what I mean? Has Sam made a commitment to you that this relationship will continue when the show is over? Yeah. That's what I said to her before. I'm very excited to see what happens with us on the outside. So who do you see as your biggest threat in the house and why? In this house, sometimes your friends are your biggest threats. I might even say Layla. I don't see why Australia would not fall in love with her. I know every housemate in here has, so she would have to be one of my biggest threats, and I'm cool with that. You say you're cool, but how do you really feel about the potential of being up against Layla as the final two housemates competing for $250,000? I love the way you said that, big brother. It's intensifying. I'd, I, you know, I'd prefer to share it with Layla than anybody else in the house. $250,000. million. Oh, my gosh. An intruder's never won. And I don't see why I can't be the first. I came in with that mentality and hopefully I leave a winner.
To create some entertainment while it was raining, Big Brother gave them pictures of their former housemates to play with. I want you to be really happy. Let's just hug them and hold each other. Ooh. Hey, guys. <laughs> Which inspired Michael to build himself a brand new Josh. Joshy, I'm just going to make you have a little bit of a nap. You love that. Joshy, you got no pants on, you legend. Oh, yeah, let me put some jeans mad. on you. You mad dog. <laughs> oh, Joshy, I know you always like this shirt, so I'll button it up and you'll look like a legend. <laughs> but Michael! Michael! Yeah? I want to come and ruin everything for you both. <laughs> Please! <laughs> oh, you're always ruining the party. Get out of here, you heart! <laughs> the funniest. With one week to go, Benjamin has been reflecting on how they've changed since leaving the outside world behind. I was a compulsive liar. I would be able to tell stories that seemed real. When I decided I wanted to do this and be on this season, I spent every single moment being like, I'm going to consciously think about every single story I say to make sure that while I do it, that it's 100% who I am. I've spent times in my life where I've gone for about a month talking and speaking as though I'm someone else. Yeah. So that's where the compulsive liar thing will come out. Mm. Like, people will go and hang out with me for, a, for about a week and then they'll see me two weeks later and they'll be like, who are you? And I'm like, oh, sorry, you met that version of me. That is all lies. Sorry. <laughs> but... Since I've been in here, I've been a much happier person because everything I'm saying is true and I haven't had that whole I'm a terrible person because I feel worried about what people are going to say. Good evening, everyone. I'm Zoe. I'm leader of the No Bull Party. <laughs> I bring to the house a breath of fresh air. Johnny, 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 woo, Johnny, woo. <laughs> Zoe's gone creek free. <laughs> No, it's hate. <laughs> I stand for humour and I stand for fun. The rights to clean, because there are two or three who don't. Start this one, quick, quick, whilst you're wet, quick, quick, you gotta do it whilst you're wet. You know how you hate it when I tell you to cook? I'll do the rest of them, don't worry, big brother. <laughs> the rights to sleep, and that includes the right to snore. <laughs> The rights to not be pressured into exercise. <laughs> I will not tolerate bad manners. Fighting. Oh my oh, god. I'm okay. so sorry. Excuse me. Chewing with your mouth open. Sometimes you just slip, Australia. And I will not tolerate the lack of love that Michael gives me. Hello, brother. One cuddle from you and I just want them forever. He will love me. You know who to vote for. Tell it like it is, I say. For Benjamin to win Big Brother, dial 1902 559502. SMS Benjamin to 199 or vote on Facebook. For Estelle to win Big Brother, dial 1902 559505. SMS Estelle to 199 or vote on Facebook. Good evening, I'm Sam. I'm a leader of the Clean Keen Confidence Political Party. I stand before you with strong beliefs that waiters are not just there for your convenience. Please remember to smile back and say please and thank you. Good stuff, Sambo. On your Sambo. The same goes for intruders. We are not aliens, <laughs> but please do try and include us. As an official housemate for more than 37 days, I feel like I'm an expert on regular tanning of the buttocks, daily workouts, <sighs> and treating Polish royalty like princesses. Okay, girl, we're done. Oh my God! If you vote for me, I will promise to wear a shirt as little as possible, and I will continue to be an amazing friend, but also a trainer to Delilah. <laughs> You know, big brother, I've never done a speech throughout my schooling. I've never partaken in any speech giving. Well done. Yay! Thank you. Hello, 
Mr. Drain. I've come to clean you. I am impervious to filth. Now, I wonder... Who leaves all this annoying long red hair around? Yes. Everywhere. The yuckest! Ah, oh, well done. Thank you, my wife, for doing that. This is Big Brother. Hello. Michael, just a question. Did you wash your hands after you cleaned the toilets? <gasps> he oh. put his finger in my mouth! I think I did. <laughs> yes, of course I did. It's what I do. I clean my hands. <laughs> He's hygienic. I swear I always say that Big he Brother, is. I'm so in love with you, I don't care. You I are. did. You do. I remember. Yes. I remember. Oh. <laughs> Big Brother is always watching and always listening. But some housemates like to go to the diary room a lot more than others. On Benjamin's fourth visit in less than an hour, Big Brother decided to have some fun with him. Please put me out of my misery. You will open the door now. Hello. Hey Delilah, should we go in there? Should we go and see if Big Brother will help me re-record my video? Yeah, I'd I'd wait for that too. I would I would be queuing. Is someone in there or are you just waiting? Just waiting. Oh, he might be there all day! Benny! Oh. Yes! I was upside down! <laughs> Sorry, Benjamin. Even Big Brother needs a bathroom break. Come on in. Good evening, I'm Benjamin. I'm the leader of the fabulous political party. I stand for dancing in the shower. The need to be brutally honest. I hate pretty much everyone. I hate you the most. <laughs> the ability to not like Sam, even though he's the nicest bloke in town. I still don't like Sam. <laughs> Why do you have to be friends to nice people? Nice people are beige walls. They're boring. Bull ball. I stand for sleeping naked. Does it make you feel better that I came in nude? <laughs> <laughs> Laughing like you may pee your pants. <laughs> and celebrating fabulous outfits. So get on the fabulous train and vote for Benjamin. Without me, there would be no sequins and no shimmies. Oh my God, I'm the worst at this. For Layla to win Big Brother, dial 1902 559508, SMS Layla to 199 or vote on Facebook. For Michael to win Big Brother, dial 1902 559509, SMS Michael to 199 or vote on Facebook. Australia. I am Estelle. Tonight I'm here to present to you the United Unicorn Party. Yay! I'm just me, you know, whatever. In this party we stand up for many things. Walk around and feel comfortable in your own skin. Ride as many ponies as you wish. Be yourself. Unless you can be a unicorn, then be a unicorn. Right. Really, I'm just constantly thinking about how I'm going to create a unicorn. You should be free to wander to the garden, see that beautiful lavender plant, take a sprig and place it behind your ear without fear. 
Do I look like I'm alright? <laughs> Do I look like I'm alright? When venturing to the shower, you must think, gosh, I'm dirty, I want to get clean. You should be able to strip off, be topless and not be judged. Well, if you go topless, that means I have to go pants. That's the general rule, isn't it? It is every Australian's right to be able to rap whenever you like. No matter how good or how bad, you should never feel sad. But you can rap, attack, and there's a fat cat that sat on a mat. This is terrible, big brother. When Sam was feeling a little tired, he thought he could get away with a quick nap behind the couch without Big Brother noticing. This is Big Brother. Sam, you look like you need some stimulation for trying to sleep behind the lounge. 50 press-ups. I didn't even see you there. How many, Big Brother? 50. No worries. Let's go, Sambo! Yeah, come on, you got this. You got this. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Follow your destiny. Nine, ten. Come on, you sissy. Push it harder. Pump it. Feel the pressure. You know you can do it. Thirty. Yes, that's right. I want to see you move. I want to see you dip, duck, and dive. Ah, oh, you are a strong specimen, but not as strong as me. 42, 43, 44, that's right. 45, 46, feel the burn, feel the terror. That's right. You are the strongest man in Australia. Deadly. That hurt my throat so much. 20 questions, Delilah. Are you a dog? Are you an actor? Are you Lassie? Very predictable, Delilah. Would you rather be a chihuahua or a poodle? Poodle. Decent choice. Chihuahuas are the worst dogs in the world. Would you rather be a cat or a mailman? Mailman? Fair. Would you rather be a Rottweiler or a German Shepherd? German Shepherd. Hmm. Interesting. Would you rather be the cutest dog in the world or be the cutest dog in the world? Because it doesn't matter. Because you are the cutest dog in the world. Yay. The housemates have been together for so long now, it appears they've almost run out of things to talk about. You like stuff? I like stuff. Do you like stuff? I prefer things, but stuff, stuff will do sometimes. Yeah. Mm, things are good. Stuff, see, I think I've had this conversation before. When I say I've got things to do, mm. that's important. It means I can't hang out. But I've got stuff to do, it means I'm just blowing you off. So when you said to me last week that you had stuff to do... I was just blowing you off. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I've actually got stuff to do. I'm all alone. <laughs> <laughs> You've been talking to Big Brother now for many weeks. What do you imagine Big Brother looks like? This is what I envisage. Is that the right word? Envisage? Yeah. Uh, so, like, I'm really, really tall. Tall. Six foot. Like, sort of, like, you know, to be able to stand over all of us, like, to be an adult-looking figure. Light hair. Dark, but, like, salt and pepper hair, you know, like, sort of a la George Clooney-ish. For some reason, I have a feeling you'll have dark hair. With, like, beautiful green eyes. I picture Big Brother to have a very knowing face. And happy features, like kind, kind, caring features. You, you live on the coast, so you probably got a tan. Really, really good teeth because you had braces when you were younger because your mum worked at a dent. She was like a dental nurse, so she got you good cheap rates, so you've got really fabulous teeth. The whole, he sort of looks a little bit like Liam Neeson, but with the wit of, say, John Cleese. Big Brother dresses very smartly. I think you'd be a Hugo Boss type of guy. How about great looking and sexy? Yeah, all that. All that, if you want to throw those in there, that's fine. Something like my dad would wear, like a pair of moleskins, a nice brown leather belt. Elegant casual. Yeah. You can never look too smart, Big Brother. So let's get this right. You're saying Big Brother is tall, dark and handsome. <laughs> yes, I am. For Sam to win Big Brother, dial 1902 559516, SMS Sam to 1995999, or vote on Facebook. For Zoe to win Big Brother, dial 1902 559514, SMS Zoe to 1995999, or vote on Facebook. 
Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.